Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this show on the road. And to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and just clap three times. And I'll explain why I've gone ahead and done that in just a little bit. With this whole COVID thing, the need has arisen for, or at least some of you had questions about, how you can improve your videos. And one of the best ways you can improve your video is by improving the audio. Now, you don't have to buy a lot of really expensive equipment. I'm recording this right now on an $1,100 Sony point-and-shoot. Uh, I don't think I could have spent more, much more money on a point-and-shoot. shoots in RAW format. It is a fantastic camera. But the microphone on it is junk. And the whether you've got the latest MacBook Pro or, you know, a, I mean, it doesn't matter what you've got. You know, if it's a laptop, that microphone that's built in is going to be junk. It's going to be okay for, you know, like doing a FaceTime or Zoom call. However, if you are recording in a larger room and the acoustics aren't so good, it's just not going to not gonna be as good. So how can you go ahead and improve that? Well, I can't give you a one solution that fits every situation because the equipment is always changing. But I'll go ahead and tell you some of the things that I've done and hopefully that'll help. And of course, I hope you know that you can go ahead and uh, tap me for for any further advice before you uh, pull out your credit card and buy some equipment so that you can improve your audio. Now, right now, I am actually recording my audio. Well, it is being recorded on the camera. Um, however, I also have uh, a lapier micro. Yeah, a lapier microphone. I think that's the way you pronounce it. Anyways, I have a little clip-on mic. It uh, costs about 20 bucks. It's made by Sony. There's there's just a whole bunch of different ones. And and I have it connected to this um, Zoom recorder. Now, th these cost about 100 bucks. But you don't have to spend 100 bucks. If you have the microphone, and if you can fit it into anything that can record audio, it might be a really old uh, iPod. It could be an old um, phone that you have doesn't really matter. This one uses a um, 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, unfortunately, well, I mean, I guess this is progress, so I shouldn't say unfortunately, but a lot of the new equipment uses, um, you know, Thunderbolt or lightning cables or things like that. However, you can almost always get adapters that will work with that. But again, that is part of what makes this complicated and the reason that I can't give you one solution to fit every situation. So actually all this is doing, um, even though it has its own microphones, I just go ahead and put it in my pocket, but the actual recording is being tapped on this uh, lapel microphone. We'll talk about that again in a second. Now if you just got have a laptop and you want to go ahead and improve your audio, let's see what I got here. This is just a USB microphone. Uh, this one's made by Logitech. Unfortunately, they don't sell them anymore. Um, I can't tell you how many of these I bought when I was in the classroom. But it just has a regular USB-A plug on it. And this alone, for about $20, $25, although I don't know what they cost now in COVID times, but just a simple USB microphone like this that you can set on, you know, on your desktop or just to the side that can pick up your audio as opposed to what your laptop can pick up, this will be a huge improvement. And any video recording that you do with your laptop is going to automatically be synchronized. So this is a very simple solution. What else do we got here? Oh, while I'm talking about that, here's my, um, this is my, my current lap book, <laughs> my current laptop, it's a MacBook Air. And it's a little bit older one, um, but it does have the USB-A ports in it. It has a couple of them. And it also has a lightning port in it. So I do have that option. However, I just bought 
um, a, a new MacBook Air for the lovely Mrs. Westland, and hers does not have any USB um, A ports on it. They are USB C ports or Thunderbolt ports. And so, again, you know, it, it's how you kind of connect all this stuff together that can make this just a little bit more complicated. But don't let that deter you. Just go ahead and tell me what you got, and I'll send you some suggestions on what will work. And I don't, you know, I mean, I, I'm cheap. You know, I don't like spending money um, on things that are junk. But I always try to get a good value, and I'll, I'll, I'll of course, try to do that for you as well. Um, over my desktop here, um, this is what I use for my screencasts. This is um, a cardio mic, um, and I have it. It comes down into a USB interface down here. Um, all that together has probably cost me about three, four hundred dollars. But you know, I've been doing this for years, and so it's worked out to be about a nickel a week for me. But you know. You know, you've got young families and, and all of that. And so, you know, you probably don't want to, you know, spend all that money. Let's see. This is just a, this is kind of a, a form of a shotgun mic. This fits in the hot shoe on my DSLR camera. Works really pretty good. However, it's pretty big and heavy. This is about 10 years old. And now you can get a great mic that is about the size of this glue stick and uh, and you can go ahead and slap that on your camera or whatever. Now if you're using an iPhone to do your filming, um, mine here has a USB-C port in it right now. I think it's USB. I mean there's so many different connections. I mean to be honest sometimes it confuses me as well. But you can get um, you can get uh, adapters that'll go ahead and, and fit in, so you can do your recording on the iPhone. But typically, when I film with my iPhone, I go ahead and use this external mic, and that's why I clap three times because it's pretty easy to do. So I'll show you how to go ahead and sync that up in Film Express. You can do it in iMovie. I mean, it's the same technique. And while I'm talking about that, if you're filming with multiple cameras in a large room where you're not going to be able to hear the three claps, you're going to want to go ahead and fire off a flash. Now, this is my Canon Speedlight flash. Um, just about any simple point and shoot camera flash will work. Um, I don't think a phone flash is fast enough, um, you know, because they just kind of come on, stay on for a little bit to light up the scene so that the camera can adjust the contrast and then it takes the picture where one of these fires off pretty quick. And so it accomplishes the same thing as the, th as the three claps, um, so that's, you know, so that's good. So let's see if I got any other stuff I want to show you. I don't really think so. I don't, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch more time um, showing you what equipment I have because without question, the equipment that you have is going to be different. So let's go ahead and go to the computer and see what we can do with these files to take audio that we recorded separately for better quality sound and then match it up with uh, with the video that we recorded. So here I am in Hit Film Express and I've gone ahead and imported the video footage which also includes the audio from my Sony camera as well as the camera or excuse me as well as the audio with my lavalier mic using my zoom microphone but again it, it could be anything I just want to show you how to tie them together so I'm going to go ahead and pull this over first and it says it's different blah 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 yeah that's fine and really what I want to do is find those three claps so 
I'm going to come in here and it looks like they're right about there. So let's go ahead and click on the timeline. And there they are. So I'm going to move this back and I'm going to go ahead and trim it right where the three claps start. And let's see, there we go. And then I'll take my uh, cursor here and just delete these parts. And then I'll just go ahead and drag all that over together. Now, this audio right here is the audio from my Sony camera. And like I explained already, it's a very expensive camera, but it's a very low quality mic. I mean, it'll be fine if you have the kids at the zoo or whatever, but if you want to bump up the quality of your videos, an external mic, even if it's just a cheap USD desktop mic, will do wonders. So here is the audio they recorded on a separate device. So this could be, like I said, an old iPod, an old iPhone. It, I mean, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it can record audio nice, nice and clean. So I'm going to bring this down here in the audio track below and it looks like right there I've got my three claps so I'm going to take and turn down this audio from my Sony camera and I'm going to come to about right here in my timeline and listen to what I have times yep that's it so let's see I'm going to go ahead and use my trim tool to trim right about there and then use my select tool and I'll delete that and then I'm going to move this over and they look pretty close so let's go ahead and zoom in tighter so that we can get real close here. So there you can see a clap, there you can see a clap. So I'm gonna go ahead and select on this clip and trim it maybe right about there. And then delete this little section. And this section up here as well. And then I'll slide them over and I think they're probably pretty close. So how close do they have to be? Well, we're not Milli Vanilli here, and you probably don't know what I'm talking about there because you're younger than me, but uh, as long as the lips sync up with the audio, that's probably gonna be good enough. So we'll just go ahead here and bring, come back to the beginning of our timeline and hit play. And I can see right there that my claps are great. So, what do you do now? This audio track right here in HitFilm Express is the audio that my Sony camera captured. And it has all the background noise, it has the distortion from being far away from the mic, has all of that incorporated in it. So, to go ahead and delete the audio that my Sony camera captured, You'll note here that here I've got the video file from the Sony camera and here I have the audio file from the Sony camera and these little icons right here tell me that they are linked together. So I'm just going to right click on them and choose unlink. And then I can select just this audio track here and delete it. And that's really about all there is to it. So I come back here in the beginning. And I'll explain why I've gone ahead and done that in just a little bit. So I now have the audio from my lavalier mic as well as the video that I recorded from my high quality Sony camera. And that's really about all there is to it. Now you can use this technique with multiple cameras. So you could record from two, three, well, actually, it's almost unlimited cameras. And then if you have 
Well, let's say that you're recording a drama presentation. What I would do would be to take and set up a quality microphone up at the center of the stage that could record the production. And then I would take and have my two or three cameras set up, however many you want, doesn't really matter, it's practically unlimited. And then I would go up to the front of the stage turn on all of the cameras as well as the sound recording device and then instead of clapping three times although you might as well go ahead and do that as well in case the camera microphones don't pick up the audio I would just go ahead and fire off a strobe flash of some sort and then be sure that you just let the cameras roll you don't want to start or stop them. Just let them roll continuously. And then when you're all done, go ahead and shut them off. They don't have to be shut off at the same time, but go ahead and shut them off. And then bring those video tracks in. And you can add as many video tracks as you want in the Hit Film Express. And then bring in your audio track. Take and synchronize all of the video tracks with the audio track based on the flash or the claps and then go about editing. Add your transitions and you'll have an awesome production.